You look great. Thanks. <clears throat> but, um... What? Uh, how to say this nicely? Go on. Say it. But isn't it a bit... street? I think you should go for something a bit more... I don't know, sexy, smart. This is a high-end bistro we're talking about. High-end? Is that the high-end of my flipping street? Yeah, Tina, I want you to get this job. Oh, yeah, I know you do. I wouldn't be going if you didn't bully me into it. Where are you going? Upstairs, to throw a ball gown on. Your next applicant's arrived. Hiya. Uh, hi, Tina, if you want to take a seat. If you've any sense, you'll turn and run a mile. Was it something I said? Uh, don't worry. And the manager's off? Yeah. It's a hypothetical question, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, I got that. Uh, well, if the manager was off, um, I'd imagine I'd know who he'd put in charge. But if a table was being a bit leery, I'd just chuck him out. I've done it enough times at the Rovers and live to tell a tale. It's a bit different to the Rovers, isn't it? Yeah, look, in this establishment, we like to be... Uh, a bit posher. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm very good at minding my P's and Q's. You sure? <laughs> Yes. Um, so which restaurants have you worked in? I don't see any on your CV. Uh, well, we serve hot pot in the Rovers. Yeah, Matt said you'd done some silver service. Did I? Yeah, he said you worked in loads of restaurants. I mean, I know you did that function with Kieran. Yeah, that was a one-off. You should really write that down. Silver service. A CV is where you put everything that you've done. Like, all of it. The only silver thing I've ever done was my silver medal for the three-legged race in juniors. <laughs> yeah, I won't pull that. Anyway. You've got no right. Unless the job involved running. Right, look, so you've never been a waitress? I guess he reckons it's not rocket science. He can be a bit of a snob sometimes. I'm so sorry. Look, it looks like I'm here under false pretenses. I'm saying nothing. Yeah, look, I'm sure you make a great waitress, Tina. Yeah, well, I've got to ask myself the question. Who wants me to get this job more, me or him? I don't understand. Me and you both, Nick. Me and you both. I'm sorry to waste your time. You haven't. I'm sorry. Well, she was a bit highly strong, wasn't she? More trouble than the customers. Tina! Tina! How'd it go? Silver service? Oh. Dinner parties in Cheshire. Yeah, I'm sorry. You've made me look like a complete idiot. I was just picking you up, that's all. Well, because I can't do it myself. No, I think you can. You just don't push yourself. But what if I don't want to be pushed? What if I'm happy where I am? A barmaid. Right. I like being a barmaid. What, in the Rovers? What's wrong with the Rovers? Well... Go on. Well, you know, it's just... Not dinner parties in Cheshire. This isn't about me at all, is it? This is about you. No. You're embarrassed of me. Of course I'm not. Tina, look. No, you look. This is the way I like to look. This is where I like to live, and that is where I like to work. And if you don't like it, you can lump it. Oh, I went that bad. You could do way better. Do you reckon? Yeah, of course you're gorgeous, you, ain't you? Yeah. And anyway, he's not one of us. You are. Mm hmm yeah, he was a bit boring. Yeah, could he have told that joke like I did before? He never told jokes. <laughs> exactly, and what type of idiot doesn't tell jokes, eh? I don't. You do? Well, he doesn't, not really. <laughs> Am I boring? No, <laughs> uh, do I make you laugh? Don't worry, tight. people laugh at you all the time. <laughs> no, really, do I? Yes, you do. Who's hardly Peter Kay, is he? Ignore him, you're funny. Are you just saying that because I'm your boyfriend? <laughs> no, silly, come here. Mm. See? Who needs a partner? Just loads of insecurity, eh? No, I'm better on my own. Yeah. Any guy who can't see how perfect you are needs his head tested. By a doctor. <laughs> see what I did there? That was a joke. Oh. By a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> how come you're eating rabbit food? You blocked up or something? For itself, isn't it? Besides, I thought I could do with losing a few pounds. Oh, I. And I suppose this is your doing, is it? No. I like him the way he is. Want to keep you warm at night? If you're looking for the bathroom, it's that way. Yeah, I know where it is. I'm looking for a bottle of perfume. Where's it gone? Hey, don't look at me. That's Tyrone. You got something to tell us, mate? Actually, it was me. I accidentally knocked it off the shelf and broke it, so... Oh, I only got it last week. 
I'm going to go in town now and get a new one. I said sorry. It's all right, I'll give you the money for it's it. It's all right, I'll pay. How much? 38.99. 39 quid? I'd rather smell bad. <laughs> I want the change back. Yes, officer. Sorted. See you later then. See ya. You get a bus installed? Um, no, I think I'm borrowing Rita's car. Can I get a lift? I need to go to the bank. Why am I? Taxi service. I'll make it worth your while. Buy your lunch. Okay. Nice towel, by the Don't way. Don't push it. You are unbelievable. Well, you did say you wanted to treat me for lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's before I knew how much you could eat. I was hungry. Anyway, I'm a growing woman. What? Eh, what are you doing? The your car. No, well, yes. What are you doing with it? I'm afraid your car's been a naughty car. It's coming with us for a little ride. <laughs> you can't do that. I think we'll find the cab. Come on, mate. Can't we just sort this out here? Look, I'll give you 20 quid. 30 quid. I'd really love to help you, but I'm not going to. Oh. If you want it back, that's what it'll be. Well, it looks like you're just going to have to pay the fine, then. No, well, do not anything wrong. Uh, excuse me, can I have a word? Come on, then. Where are they? <laughs> Where are what? The hidden cameras. I mean, this must be a setup, right? As I've explained to you several times now, it's not a police matter. But I didn't do anything wrong. I was over the white line about this much. Then you were parked illegally. So they told my car away and you're not going to do anything? I'm doing my job. Oh, yeah. And I bet it makes you dead proud and all, eh? Lying in bed at night, bigging yourself up while next door's getting burgled. Of course, we could always continue this discussion down the station. No, yeah. no, no, we're all right, aren't we? Aren't we? Come on. Come on. Who thieving, robbing, money grabbing, low life scumbag. Guess it didn't go too well. Then. Anna, they're in pound of Rita's car in Rochdale. In Rochdale? Yeah, and it gets better. It's gonna cost me 170 quid to get it back. Not to mention that I was tripping a bus. Can you afford the fine? Yeah, yeah. If I don't eat for the next couple of weeks. You're having some serious puddle. Well, is it though? Hmm? Hmm? What do you mean? Well. Don't you think it's a bit weird how it happens to be my car that gets towed away for being a couple of inches off the line? Well, they were clampers, but we didn't even know whose car it was. Coppers do. So? So? Who do we know that's a copper? Oh, come on, you're not blaming this on Kirsty, She knew I was driving Rita's car today. <laughs> she could have made a few calls, set us up. You're off your head. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. But first, I need to find a bus to get me to Rochdale. Hey, maybe Kirsty had them all arrested. Shut up. I should have called. Yes, you should. I was going to give Dennis a lift to see one of his friends. He's had to go on the tram. I'm sorry, Rita. She was literally a couple of inches over the line. Yeah, it wasn't even my fault. Was no, it? she's right, it wasn't. Are you working him with your foot? But I swear it will never happen again. Just give us the keys and we'll try and put it behind us. Be okay about Seriously, it. will you please just shut up? Oh, yeah. You all right? Didn't hear you come in. Play trombone next time, fella. <laughs> so, how did you get on? What? Did you get your perfume? Yeah. Why? Did it change? It's all right. You can owe me one. Don't worry, I won't forget. Night, then. Night. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought you were going to have a go at her about the car. What's the point? I don't want to cause more aggro and upset Tyrone. Anyway, so if anyone believes me. But I never said I didn't believe you exactly. I just said you need to play it cool and keep your car close to your Yeah, what's I'm doing? And that's what scares me. Yeah, I get it. Shut up, Tommy. Oh, I uh, forgot to say, there's a gas bill needs paying. How much? About 30 quid each. There's traffic cash this week. How to shell out that money for Rita's car. Mm. Have you got a minute, guys? Yeah, we were just talking about Portina having a car clamped. Shouldn't be parked legally then, should it? What do you want to talk to us about? Today is a big ask. Even for the legend that is Tyrone Dobbs. Yeah, well, Tyrone's cool. He'll handle it, won't he? One year exactly since his wife died. He'll handle it. Yeah, well, well I didn't mean it like that. I just meant... He's got all his mates around him. Look, I hate right. to pull rank, but I am a fellow trained. Flo? 
floor. <laughs> Family liaison officer. Obviously, my career took a different path. I'm a good communicator, used to handling sensitive situations. Right, are you trying to put yourself in charge of something? I'm just saying, some things are best left to the experts. Experts. <laughs> <laughs> All set for today? Yeah. Come on. Any tea in the pot? I'll pour it. You sit down. Hey, do you fancy going to the pub after the service? Aye. Are you sure you're up to it, Ty? I always fancy the pub. Clap me in. Oh, where are you going now? Thought I'd open up early if we're going to close early. You don't have to open at all. Yeah, I've got to put a gearbox in a Fiesta. If you can't face it, that's fine. Well, it's lovely that you care. And part of me is really sad about today. Part of me just wants it over with, too. See? You got him all wrong. Yeah, look, she's right. He doesn't need wrapping up in cotton wool, does he? All right. There's no need to gang up on me. So this... About not bringing Liam. Yeah, I think he's too young for this. I do. Are you sure about this? Hey, you okay? <laughs> I can't believe I'm the one getting upset today of all days. I'm letting you down. No, you're not. I can't imagine what you're going through now, but you, you just keep going. Do I? I just wanted to be there for you. You have. You've, you've been brilliant. I'm trying. But I feel like they hate me. Who? Tina and Tommy. No. They make me feel like I'm an outsider, that I, I don't belong. I'm not in their little gang. Hey, you have just as much right to be here as either of them. This is my house. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are you going to go for a drink or what? <laughs> I don't know. I know how they make me feel. Right, I'm going to have it out with them then. No, you're not. Yes, I am, because you are my girlfriend and you're welcome any time. Do you want me to kick them out? No, well, maybe Tina. Are you serious? Because I will. She doesn't like me. Of course she does. You don't see the dirty look she gives me. No way. Oh, it's work. I better take it. Hiya. Can you give me a vodka? No, I can't work this weekend. Must have found all that pretty painful. What? Watching your dead wife's auntie cuddling the baby you thought was your son? You're a stronger man than me, then. I think we better leave that to the experts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, mate. What are you on about? Just, just a little joke. What, a little joke at Kirsty's expense? No, she can handle it. Oh, you reckon? Well, you didn't see her earlier. She was really upset, reckons that you two don't make her feel welcome. Right? No. Yeah? So you better book up your ideas. Otherwise, you'll be finding somewhere else to live. Look, I'm going to go into town. Anyone coming? No, not me. No, me neither. You can't force us to get on, Tyrone. No, but I can ask you to give her a chance. I don't know what it is. We just rub each other up the wrong way. I predict five years' time, you and her bezzy mates. Doubt it. You're actually very alike. So you in it for the long call, then, you and Kirsten? I'm, I'm really happy. I'm happy in a way that I never thought I would be again. Oh, Tyrone. <laughs> I am happy for you, and I promise I'll make an extra effort to get on with her. OK? I promise. Thanks. This looks very cosy. It was just chatting. Yeah, it looks like it. I was telling him how happy I was that he found you. I know you're on the wee band we've spoken for. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I do not fancy Tyrone. Yeah, and I do not fancy Tina. I've seen the way you flirt with him, and I don't just mean now. OK, you flirt with anything with a pulse, oh, but... Cow. I'll take this as a warning. One pulse move, you're a dead woman. You're off your rocker. I'm glad we had that conversation. Time we cleared the air. You can't just talk to people like that. There's a word for girls like her. You upset her and you embarrass me. Mean it, you was out of order. You jumped to the wrong conclusion and went on the attack. Back me in a corner, I fight. Especially when you're the prize. 
<laughs> I love being with you. And I hate it when I'm not with you. I just, I, I think about you all the time. We see each other nearly every day. It's not enough. I want more. <laughs> Can't get enough of you. <laughs> mm. Why don't you move in then? Yeah, I wasn't dropping it in. Uh, it's okay if you don't want it. Mm. I do. It's just a bit sudden. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't really in the mood. Time was rammed as well. Whoa. You okay? No, I'm not. I'm flaming fuming. Why? No, I'm upset about Carter again. No, eh? flaming Kirsten. What's she done now? Accusing me of trying it on with Ty, as if. <laughs> You're joking me? No, she marked my cards. Say if I lay one finger on him, she'd kill me. Oh, gosh, that is bonkers. Funny, that works into my mind. Yeah. She's winding you up, isn't she? No, no, no. No, she really thinks I'm a threat. And yeah, all right, I can laugh it off. But that means there'll be this weird vibe between me and Ty, who's my mate. That woman's poisonous. Right, why can't I just meet a nice lad and have a normal relationship, eh? So what do you think of Tyrone and Kirsty? Are you gonna last? Well, they seem pretty smitten. Yeah. I think they'll fizzle out, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Hey, up, she's moved on to Tommy now. What right. did I tell you? No. A joke, I'm winding you up. Hey, and I'm sorry what I said earlier. I know Mai Tai'd never look at another woman. Hey, there's a cocktail called Mai Tai. Is there? Fantastic. What's in it? So you're not saying you're in the wrong, just... Yeah, OK. You just say apology accepted, and we'll say no more. Apology accepted. So go on, what's in a Mai Tai? We can make some to celebrate. Uh, dark rum, curacao and lime. I think we've got some rum in the cupboard. Yeah, I don't think we've got any curacao. Uh, what are we celebrating? Well, just bosh a load of tin fruit, innit? That's what he normally does. <coughs> Tyrone, Tina wants to know what we're celebrating. Oh. I've asked Kirsty to move in. Move in? <laughs> and I've said yes. So it's good me and her had them clear the air talks. Wouldn't want any simmering resentments now, would we, Rumi? No. Hi. Morning. Hi. Is there a rotor for the bathroom? What? We never needed one. When it was you and two scruffy mechanics, maybe. If I'm on shift, I can't be hanging about like I was this morning. Well, it's a good job. We don't work the same shifts in, innit? Tyrone says you don't have your own shelves. Eh? For your own stuff? We share. No one takes advantage. We all chip in. If we're out with something, someone buys it. I bet I know which someone. I'll sort the bathroom motor out then, yeah? Toast. Yeah, great, huh? Hey, you gonna be here for Christmas? No problem. No, no, I just thought you might go back to your family or something. What, to Tyrone? Of course you're going to be here. What about you two? Nowhere else to go. Not me. Sweet. It's going to be wicked then, innit, eh? Four of us. He's in charge of decorations, tree and stuff. Mm. He hasn't thought about that yet. Oh, we'll have a tree, though. Defo. Huh? Oh. Scared of Connie. She was a friend of Jack's. Smashing lady. Mm. She OK? Yeah. Wants me to pop over and see her sometime. You can come with me. Wow. Feels like I'm official now. <laughs> Almost like being introduced to your mum. No, this is nothing like being introduced to my mum, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> We're hearing Jack and Item. No, not like not like that. No. Just great friends. Oh, we should have met Jack. You know, if he's looking down on us right now, he'll know I've never been happier. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, in that case then, we'll be a bit late with the rent this month. Sorry. <laughs> To you. To me. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... Hi. What do you reckon to this little beauty? Oh, I've just been and bought this. Yeah, well, we've got this one now. Just knew we were selling them. Yeah, and we all chipped in. This is so much classier. Yeah, but it's not as good as a proper thing, though, is it? Well, this shed. Needles are everywhere. Oh, it's all part of the fun. Strange idea of fun. This will look the business. Well, it will just decorate it, anyway. Mine's already decorated. Everything's coordinated. Sophisticated. It's a Christmas tree, <laughs> not a fashion statement. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this then? It was my idea to buy it. Every year my mum promised us a real, and then every year she brought out this rubbishy old fake one because she spent the money on fags or something. Hey, you can put that one in your bedroom. You don't have Christmas trees stuck away in a bedroom. Come and help us decorate this one. Come yeah, on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come over here. Come hey. on. Oh, hi, Tyrone. Hi, Fizz. Hey. Oh. How was her birthday? Did you spoil her rotten? Well, I tried to, but, you know, luckily she's too young to realise. 
Oh, she's gorgeous. It's like a mother, eh? Oh, get away. <coughs> How's your love life anyway? Still going strong? No, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I didn't expect you back yet. Am I spoiling something? No, don't be daft. I'm on our road to go, though. Let's crack on, then. You know Fizz, don't you? Not really. Hi. Yeah, nice to see you. Is the immersion on? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll leave you two to it. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Fizz. Bye, all. Bye bye. Have you slept with her? What? Ah. Oh. Tyrone? What is it? But I can't afford another one. Well, you shouldn't have to, Eileen. None of us should. Missed a bit. I'm so going to kill Chesney when I see him. I told Tyrone they were dodgy. You get an eye for it in my game. They are so giving us a refund. Mm. Plus damages. And you can't claim damages. I've got needles in my underwear. I'm risking injury just sitting here. Maria, it needs another coat. Oh, Kylie! You know what you made me do? Ah, oh, don't worry. Gail's not house proud. I could do your next client. You don't work here anymore. I mean, there any... Oh, what do you know what I mean? Well, it's because of her. You're working at all. Oh. I suppose. One client. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That'll be them. I appreciate you doing this. Hey, if I can't fix a kid's buggy at Christmas, when can I fix it? <sighs> You're right. Are you? Yeah. I don't know, it's hard, isn't it, this time of year? Ghost of Christmas past will come knocking. Yeah, and he won't be singing carols either. Mm. But hey, you don't have to answer. Just keep yourself occupied. Don't worry, I'll proceed to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love, I didn't expect you back. I was passing, I thought I'd stop for a brew. Didn't know mechanics could work from home. Hope there's not a car jacked up in the bathroom. It's just a five minute job for a mate. Some mate. Was it your brother that flogged us of Ross Kemp spruce? Cursed her. He gave you your money back. What more can he do? Be a bit more careful where he gets his stock. Maybe it was the extreme heat that made the needles drop out. Or the fall from the back of a lorry. Uh, he got them from a garden oh, centre. Please, I nick the likes of him all the time. Just leave it, love. Those trees were legit. <laughs> Like your word counts for anything. Uh, right, I'll um. F Fizz, I'll I'll drop it round yours yeah, later. Thanks, hi. What? Look. I'm brilliant, Lynn. What's up? You know very well. What's Fizz done to you? Oh, you know what she's done in the past. She can't be trusted. Neither can a brother. What well, gave us our cash back? Uh, and Fizz, she made a mistake and she's paid the price. She's all right. You don't like Tommy, you don't like Tina, and now you've got it in for Fizz. Do you not want me to have any, mate? <laughs> don't be stupid, of course I do. Fizz is different, she's done time. She was married to a murderer, her brother's dodgy. I'm a cop type. I can't be around those kinds of people and neither can my boyfriend. What? I'm serious. I don't want you mixing with her and I don't want you doing her any more favours, OK? Do you like some crisps? No, Tar, more of a nuts girl. She said it. <laughs> Don't. Sorry. Season of goodwill and all that. Yes, it is. So, if you don't mind seeing your way clear to a kick about in no man's land, that'd be very much appreciated. Do I be landlord? No, I'm your mate. But nobody likes an atmosphere at Christmas. Hey, I'll just be grateful for the company this year. You all right? Yeah, I was upset, but you know, that wasn't the boat for me. I didn't like being someone's project. Although I should have hung on for the Christmas present, now. I've never had a boyfriend who's minted. <laughs> well, at least you don't have to buy him one. Yeah. I'll just have to treat myself. Oh, come here. <laughs> you don't let the grass grow. Oh, no, no, it was nothing. I know. Trust me, if I thought otherwise, you'd have a face full of pepper spray by now. <laughs> so, Bob, I've got a surprise for you at home. Both of you. Come on. Well, I can't. I'm working. You must be due a break. All right, I'll show for it to Jim. I can't see. Are you sure these have been washed? Oh, it's all right. You can take it off now. Oh. Ta-da! Wow! <laughs> Do you like it? I know it's not a real one, but it's a good job I didn't chuck it, eh? That looks mint. It looks like some of our candles from when they've done it, see? <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. And are all them presents for me? <laughs> oh, not all of them, no. There's some that on there for Tommy and Tina as well. Right, well, uh, that's really good of you. You shouldn't have gone to all this trouble, though. Of course I should, you Tyrone's mate. So I reckon it's about time we were in all, if that's all right with you. Yeah. 
There are causes. Oh, thanks, babe. Oh. You made my Christmas. Mmm. <laughs> Best fry up in town. Mm, We've got good. bacon, sausage, black pudding. You sure you don't want some? I'd rather not drop dead of a heart attack if it's all the same to you. Hey, we're men. We need meat. Yes, and fried stuff. <laughs> and fried stuff. <laughs> Fancy yeah. coming into town later? Madison's and Cole got half price sale on. Who, me? No, the invisible man standing next to you. Yes, you, you fool. Shopping? No. Rather stick pins in my eyes. Charming. <laughs> Kirsty will go with you, though, won't you? Yeah, good one. We'll have a great laugh. Sure. Why not? All right, then. Good. I've got some vouchers upstairs. I won't get them for you. Oh, cheers, babe. I'll just go get my jump and then we'll get going. Thanks a lot. That's all I need to spend the day with her. Hey, don't be so tight. She's making an effort. She got you a Christmas present She everything. could give me a million quid. Still couldn't stand her. Right. You know what? I put with her for Ty's sake. That's it. Well, that's me bang to rights, isn't it? Pardon me for trying to be friendly. That's the way you want to play it. Fine by me. So, I hey. cheers. Same to you. Yeah, do you have a good one? Great, yeah. You? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, just sat on the couch in front of the telly, fluffy slippers on, big box of chocolates on the go, and enough tea to sink a battleship. <gasps> Doesn't sound very exciting, that, I know, but after being in that awful place, prison. Right, yeah. It's been tough. Oh, it was only my family and my friends that kept me sane. You know, I'll never forget how good Tyrone was. He was phoning all the time. He was coming to see me. It was, it was just amazing. Yeah, well, you know, Tyrone, he's got a good heart. He'll help anyone. Yeah, I'm waffling, aren't I? <laughs> are you, you seem a bit, are you all right? Fine. Just got a dose of the January blues. Something like that. Oh, well, listen, hey, I'm thinking of going to the Rovers later for a bit. Why don't you and Tyrone meet me there? Thanks, but... I don't think so. Oh, go on, drinks on me. We never really got off on the right foot, did we? Hey, if you're lucky, I might treat you to a bag of pork scratchings at all. Sorry, got plans. Are you phoning? I was just gonna text Fizz and Kurt, maybe Maria, see if anyone fancies a drink in the Rovers later. Oh, Ty. What, do you not fancy it? I thought we were having a duvet day in front of the telly. Oh, well, I must admit, that does sound like a plan. You and me all snuggled up? Mm, bliss. <laughs> and for little ones, Crosseries, mate. Yeah. Fire up the DVD player. Let's get the show on the road. Excuse me, miss. You talk to me? Can I ask you to come with me, please? Why? Have you got receipts for the goods in those bags? Yeah. Well, then you won't mind if I check. Why are you picking on me? Look, just show me the receipts and you'll be on your way. What if I don't? Oh, well, then I'll call the police. Let them deal with you. I think... To go. That's it. No apology. I'm just doing my job. I bet you're gutted, aren't you, eh? I bet you love catching people out. Well, it does give me a bit of a buzz, yeah. Makes the job worthwhile. Why me? I mean, there's thousands of people shopping today. Why pick on me? We act on intelligence received. Who do you think you are, James Bond? We were given a tip-off about a shoplifter operating in the area. She fits your description. What a surprise. And uh, who gives you these tip-offs? The police. Who do you think? Six again? You are so jammy. It's all in the wrist, mate. <laughs> Where is she? This doesn't sound good. You need some serious help. What are you on about? The long arm of the law. In her case, stretching all the way to Madison's. So, uh, is that store detective and old work buddy of yours, is there? The store detective? Yeah, the one she set on me. Well, you've been stopped for shoplifting, why? Ask her. She's the one that gave my description. No, Kirsty's been here all afternoon. Well, she could have made a phone call. She knew I was going. Or maybe I set up a surveillance team. Hmm? Helicopters, hold you. Kirsty. I'm sorry, but listen to her. The truth hurts. Look, can we go before I do something she regrets? Oh, bring it whoa, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, I'll just leave it. We're going to be in the Rovers, right? I mean it. Back off. Come on. I'll put a brew on. Hey. 
You are not thinking straight. She set me up. How? Were you making out like she's the mafia or something? The store detective told me he received a tip off. Yeah, well, that's what they always say to cover the backs. I'm sorry, you're wrong. Okay, well, you show me some evidence then. I know how Kirsty's mind works. Really? Well, your psychic ability aside, this is Tyrone's girlfriend you're having a pop at. I don't believe this. Why am I the only one who's able to see what she's like? Probably because you're the only one who's looking. That girl needs help. Can't we just forget it? This problem isn't going away, Ty. So. Oh, hiya. Hello. Hey, Happy New Year. Yeah, back at you. So good. You decided to take me up on my invite then. My invite? Um, because I saw Kirsty earlier and she said that you two had plans or something. You women party mode us. Big style. Back to work tomorrow. Ty, getting thirsty over here. Right, well, catch up with you later then. Can you see in a bit? Nice to be popular, isn't it? My New Year's resolution is to spend more quality time with Liam. At this age, you blink and you miss it. Fair play. What about you? I wouldn't know how to begin. Try and forget the last 12 months, I guess. Sounds like a plan. Kirk? Eat less white bread. Okay. Well, I've slightly lowered the bar from 2011, but hey, it's achievable and healthy. Right, so just for the record, what was last year's resolution? Get a pilot's licence. <laughs> right. A private mine, non-commercial. Yeah, bread's certainly more doable. Kirk. <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> there you go. Cheers. Okay. Smash it. Then why the silent treatment? I thought we were able to talk about anything. Yeah, we are. Let me in here. It's stupid, but I was just a bit surprised you didn't mention Fizz's invite. And that's bothering you. Oh, a bit. <laughs> You're so cute sometimes. <laughs> I never mentioned it because it totally slipped my mind. Oh. Huh. You're not implying I did it on purpose. No, of course not. Good. I thought with Tina kicking off, I've had enough accusations for one day. I was only wondering, love. See, that's what confuses me. It shouldn't even be an issue. What do you mean? You promised to give Fizz a wide berth, remember? Yeah. So you wouldn't have accepted anyway? No. Exactly. That's that sorted then. <laughs> She's... Morning! Ah, speaking to us now, are you? That's good of you. Come on, Liam, let's go and get you a treat for later. Cheers. Yes, Sal? How's Sophie doing? Devastated still. She's proud of me this morning, though. She got up and got dressed. So if you think she might see me now? Well, oh, sure I know. I'm not a mind reader, am I? <laughs> Seeing that you're hardly ever there. Uh, it's called earning a living. Uh, a bank holiday. At a party. Setting an example. And you know what? It's working. Because she just asked me to help her find a job. What she asked from you, Kevin? Oh, yeah, that's right. Steer well clear, Dad. Up. What was all that about? Yesterday in the pub, that full on body swerve you did. I think Fizzy's getting a complex. Fizz? Yeah, she done something to upset you. No, no, it's Kirsty. She's. What? She's a bit shy. <laughs> what, like Gary Katona's shy? No, I'm serious. She covers it. I mean, she has to do with the job and that, but deep down, you know. Oh, she's a shrinking violet. Yeah, I believe it, I. Thousands wouldn't. Hey, is Fizz all right? Well, if you're that bothered, ask yourself. Marie's got a point. We have dumped Fizz. What? You really got me head stoved in off some drug dealer for her? Yeah, we all did when she was in prison. What about since then? When was the last time you knocked on? Do you require sausages, rare to medium, with truffles and ciabatta? Are you hovering for a reason? No, just... Well, please take a seat. You're making the place look unkempt. No, not there. That is an eating table. There. That is the waiting table. Look, she's busy, I'm busy, so... And Kirsty wouldn't mind at all, would she? How many ex-girlfriends do you hang around with? None. Look, the pain is too much for him. But besides, Fizz has been your mate a lot longer than she was your girlfriend. Ty, I hardly even know the girl, but it's obvious she's down on a look, and you've dropped her. Who wouldn't get the hump? <sighs> Two mates saying the exact same thing within hours of each other. Not set up at all, then? No. Two mates, both single. 
both with too much time on their hands. No, not Maria. If they were real friends, they'd be happy for you. You've got what they want. Someone who loves you. It's not jealousy. <laughs> You're so sweet. It's not. They've got to learn to let go. I'm your future. Oh! Hi. Kirsty, same again. Not for me, thanks. Not if there's an empty house with our name on it. Ty? Where are you getting off? What? Something I said? Now, whatever gave you that idea? Absolute classic. What is? Well, one by one, he starts dropping his mates, so eventually, no mates left. And whose fault's that? Well, Kirsty's, of course. You kicked this whole feud off. You made it them and us. You forced him to pick sides. He can't get annoyed when he doesn't pick yours. Well, so that's it. You call yourself his mate, but you're not willing to put up a fight. <laughs> See this? Hmm? This is my not listening face. <laughs>